The following function gives the value of an investment account in dollars that pays 4% continuous interest annually, where t is the time in years. So notice how we have an exponential function with base e, or more generally in the form a times e raised to the power of kt. So whenever we have an exponential function in this form, the value of k indicates the continuous growth or decay rate. So notice here, k is equal to 0 0.04, which as a percent would be 4%, which again is the continuous interest rate. For part A, we're asked to determine the equivalent annual interest rate compounded yearly. So to determine the annual interest rate compounded yearly, we want the given function to be in the form of f of x equals a times b raised to the power of x, where the base b is equal to 1 plus r, where in this case r is going to be the annual interest rate. So if we want these two exponential functions to be equivalent or equal, notice how this would indicate that b to the x would have to be equal to e raised to the power of kx. So if b to the x equals e to the kx, then it follows that the base b must equal e to the k. So we'll use this equation here to determine the base b for this form of the exponential function, and then once we find b, we can determine r, the annual interest rate. So again, using the equation b equals e to the k, we'll determine the value of b. So in this case, b is going to be equal to e to the power of, we know k is 0 0.04. So now we can go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation for the base b. For e, if we press second natural log, this brings up e raised to the power of, and our exponent is just 0 0.04, enter. So the base to, let's say, four decimal places will be approximately 1.0408. 1.0408 is the value of b. So if b equals 1 plus r, then in this case, r, the annual interest rate, is going to be equal to b minus 1. So we have r equals 1.0408 minus 1, which equals 0 0.0408, converting to a percentage, we would have r equals 4.08%. So 4.08% interest compounded annually would be equivalent to earning 4% continuous interest. So we'll say the equivalent annual interest rate is 4.08%. And now for part B, we're asked to write the given exponential function with base E in the form of f of t equals a times b raised to the power of t. And because we know the value of b, and we also know a, the initial amount, we give all the information we need to write the exponential function in this form here. We would have f of t equals a, the initial starting amount is still 1,200, times the base b, which is approximately 1.0408 raised to the power of t. And now before we go, Let's go ahead and use the table feature of the graphing calculator to verify these two exponential functions are equivalent. To do this, we'll press y equals, clear out any old functions, and y1 will enter the original function, or the given function of 1,200 times e, raised to the power of 0 0.04, we'll use x instead of t, enter, and then a y2 will enter the exponential function with base b, which is 1,200 times 1.0408, close parenthesis, raised to the power of x. And now we'll compare the values of y1 and y2 for the same inputs, or x values. Though we did round the value of b here, so there may be a slight difference between y1 and y2, but they will be very close. So we'll go ahead and press second graph, and now comparing the values for y1 and y2 for the same x values, notice how they're almost exactly the same, verifying our two exponential functions are essentially equivalent. I hope you found this helpful.